G'day guys, my name is CJ. Hope you're not getting too overwhelmed with all the new tech coming out in October, but just to add one more video on top of your already piling list of videos to watch, we've got another unboxing today of another really exciting phone in the Pixel 4a 5G. It's a slightly more expensive, slightly bigger, and slightly faster brother to the already released standard Pixel 4a. And as with the Pixel 5 unboxing, I can't say too much or give away much about this phone, but again, what we can do is unbox it. So without further ado, let's get started. So externally, it looks pretty similar to its smaller brother, the Pixel 4a, with the only real difference is that it says 5G on the box. Can you see it? It's, it's right there. You might miss it if you don't pay attention. And now I guess it's understated design is mainly there to not take away from the shining star that is the Pixel 5. But in any case, like the original Pixel 4a, there are two adhesive tabs holding it together and the top will then slide off nice and easy like the Pixel 5's box. And there we'll have the phone. But again, we'll put the phone to the side for one moment and actually picking it up, you straight away feel there's a bit of added heft compared to the standard 4a. But once we get inside the box, it's all pretty standard. You've got your paperwork with all your standard stuff that you probably don't read and the SIM ejector tool, of course. Then getting into the meat of the box, You've got your USB-C to C cable, which again, very standard, and also a USB-C to A OTG adapter for all your transfer and connectivity needs. And yes, as you've probably noticed in my other videos, Aussie devices come with headphones included, which doesn't seem to be the case for a lot of other mainstream markets except for maybe France. But let me know in the comments section below if you live in a market that actually bundles in the headphones. But unlike the Pixel 5, these bundled headphones don't look like OG Pixel Buds. In fact, they're the same generic cheap headphones that are included in the Pixel 4a and probably cost maybe $1 to $2 to make. I mean, I don't think we're surprised, but spoiler alert, they're not that great. But I guess beggars can't be choosers either. Now putting that aside, we've got the power adapter and it's all a pretty standard affair and pretty similar to the Pixel 5 without including any extras like a case or anything like that, which is also a little disappointing. But what hopefully isn't disappointing though is the star of this show, the Pixel 4a 5G. Again, I can't say anything about the phone itself or my impressions, but take a look. Here's the phone with the screen on, and here's the back of the phone. And here's a spot of B-roll for you to enjoy. Take a look. And again, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of the Pixel 4a 5G, how it looks, how you think it's going to perform. Also, if there's anything you'd like me to check out, feel free to drop a question down there as well. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, ding the bell icon so you don't miss out, and Definitely do that because there's going to be plenty of content coming up in the next few weeks in this super exciting month that is Techtober. Again, massive thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And of course, stay safe and say good day to your mum for me. Cheers.